Halen. It's a mashup mm -hmm. of Van Halen music and staunch nerds, and it's coming to Las Vegas. Actually, tomorrow night, Saturday night, the mm -hmm. one and only Hal Sparks joins us now to talk about the show That's right. down at the M and what we can expect. Hi, Hal. How are you? Hi. I'm spectacular. I mean, if if your life consists of you getting to spend some of your fun time being in a, a Van Halen cover band dressed as a nerd, um, doing, I, I would like to say, uh, sonically semi-perfect uh, recreations of the band themselves. Um, you don't have any problems in life. <laughs> I'm, you know what I mean? Like, what complaints Did do you have when you can do that for a living? Well, you yeah. know what? Because you, you have a lot of room for, for error and kind of personal interpretation when you add in the nerd. So I want to hear, like, how did the, the, the brainchild well, behind, behind this whole band, I love Van Halen music. I was around yeah. for it, my friend. There are bazillions yeah. of Van Halen fans, but how did the nerd element enter? Well, our guitar player, uh, Caleb, on the, on the, like, the meter of nerddom, his his needle hits Eddie like he he has been <laughs> a, a, like a dyed in the wool sit on the edge of your bed in front of an amp recreating riffs Eddie Van Halen fan his his whole life and interestingly enough uh, Taylor Hawkins uh, rest in peace from uh, Foo Fighters yeah. was sort of the impetus for it actually becoming a thing because Caleb had had this idea. And then he met Taylor Hawkins and, and Taylor was like, that sounds great. I'll play drums. And then that obviously never panned out because of the Foo Fighters and whatnot. But eventually, um, Caleb worked up the nerve to start putting it together. He approached me at the Ultimate Jam Night that I host at the, at the Whiskey in L.A. Sure. And, I, and I, we were doing Rocky Horror. And I was playing Brad in it for that particular version. And I had glasses on and everything. And he, was, he had this like light bulb moment. And he was like, Hal would never do this. He would never like, but I'll ask. And it, it was like it was like being approached by like a an, a, an eighth grade boy at a at a dance. You know, like he was like, "Hey, <laughs> um, maybe like, do you ever think that maybe?" Uh. And, and he goes, "I have this idea for this uh, thing. It's called Nerd Halen." And I went, "I'm in. I don't need to hear any more." Whoa! Like he I'm had in. you at hello. Yeah, because yeah. you were like, "Yes, let's do this with a sense of humor." So fun. I love so, your and, humor. And, and, um, oh, my, but my, my only rule though is what? for Nerd Halen, my okay. rule when I respond was that we have to do the music exactly like the band. We can oh. joke around in between and we can be dressed as nerds. That's totally awesome. But the songs have to be, for the fans, have to sound as much yes. like them as we possibly can. Because that's the rule with tributes to me. How right? you know it what it is. Sound like the real thing. What mm -hmm. I hear is that you're a purist when it really comes down to it. Uh, yes. But you like to throw a little fun in there. And and why uh, yeah. not? Uh, let's talk I'm about, pure, yeah, let's nerd fun. out right now. Let's talk about our favorite okay. Van Halen songs. Also, I'm really curious, since I know you go back and forth between here and LA, if you've ever met yeah. any members of the band. Yes, I have. I met, I did, um, I, I, I did a blues jam years ago with David Lee Roth. Uh, and I played rhythm guitar with him and Slash. It was a long story, but he after the sh after we played, he came up and went, "You're a better guitar player than you think you are," which is the greatest oh, compliment wow. I've ever gotten from a rock star in my life. And oh. um, and yeah, so I've I've met Dave a couple times. I've met Michael Anthony in passing. Caleb has you know met Eddie multiple times, borderline stalking him. I got to be honest, it, uh, many times. I never had the chance or whatever. But we're all great friends with Wolfgang Online, and it's just a yes. It, 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 you know, we love them in all their iterations. I've met Sammy. I met him at Cabo when I was doing the Cabo Comedy Festival oh, down there. It happened how to be fun on his is birthday. It to, to see Sammy Random. in Cabo. I've seen Sammy in Cabo. Yes. Yes. It's a thing. It's a joy. Yes. It's like Mecca for Sammy Hagar fans. Totally. It's amazing. Of course it is. Yep. So, yeah. Parrot heads. I love oh, it. Yes. Uh, tell people where they can come to see you on stage tomorrow night. M. That's right. Resort. Oh, Saturday, I mean, we love this yeah, joint. Yeah, the M Resort. Uh, Nerd Halen. You can't miss us. Follow Nerd Halen on Twitter or go to nerdhalen.com and all of our upcoming dates. Um, are, are listed there and all that kind of stuff because we're that nerdy. We even mention our social media during the show, which I think is the nerdiest thing you can do during a rock show. Um, <laughs> I'm not judging, but I kind of am. Follow us. Yeah, no, that's beautiful. What time's the show, by the way, and do you start on time? Uh, oh, yes, we're punctual, 8 o'clock. We're punctual. Nerds, yes, we are. nerds are usually punctual, so I expect yeah, that Yeah, well, you. our mom picks us up at 9.30, so we got to be, <laughs> you know, hot and out of there. There's a minivan waiting for us at the end of the show.
Oh man, you are so cool, so much fun. It's Thank so fun. you for joining us yeah. for more information all about the band. The show is tomorrow night at the M Resort Spa and Casino. You can go on their website though. You can follow them on social media, nerdhalen.com. Right. See you right. later, Hal.